guys, in this React Router v6 tutorial, we're going to go over the process of setting up a navigation bar. So here I have my basic React app, and as you can see, the project structure is pretty simple. I've just installed this React app. So I'm going to go to my terminal, and I'm going to use git bash here, and install React Router by running npm install react-router-dom at 6 dash dash save so once you have installed your router, go to package.json, scroll down, and you will see it's been added to your project here, React Router DOM version 6, 4.2. Now let's go back to our application, and I'm going to close all of that. The first thing you want to do is import from react-router-dom. You want to import several things. The first thing you want to import is the browser router and you want to import it as router because it's just easier to set up that way. So we're going to use that router component here and we're going to import also routes which is the wrapper for our links and you also want to import a route. So route is each individual link and we're going to add those routes here inside our router wrapper. And you want to use path attribute to specify which URL you want to set up for that route. Now open your project pane here in the upper left corner and we're going to add a new folder which will contain all of our pages, the source code for all of our pages that we want to open in our router. So I'm going to create a new folder inside SRC folder. I'm going to call it pages. I'm going to create several JS files to represent the content for my pages. So the first one is going to be home.js. I'm going to leave that blank for now. Then I'm going to create about.js and contact.js. So now I have these three pages. I'm going to go ahead and open home.js and I'm going to import React from React. I'm going to create a component for this page and all I'm going to do is return the text home page and then I'm going to export default home. So I'm going to repeat this process for creating all of the other pages. I'm going to copy and paste this into about.js and change home to about. I'm going to change the content to about and export about. Now I'm going to copy all this and go to contact.js and paste it here and change contact contact, contact. I'm going to save all these pages and I'm going to go back to my app.js. I'm going to make this shorter so it's easier to see. So I'm going to import home component that I've just created and I'm also going to import about and contact. So these are our components that we're going to use as the content for the pages. So about and contact. So here I have my three pages created and we're going to embed them into our routes now. So we're going to use element attribute. I'm going to put in the home component. And I'm going to do the same for all the other pages. So here we have path that will go to about using the about component. And contact is going to go to contact component. So if I run this React app now, you will see that we're actually going to homepage on slash in the URL. And if I type slash let's say about, it's going to go to the about page and slash contact is going to go to the contact page that we've just created. Now at this point you might also want to add the error page which is the page that's going to show up when the URL does not appear in the route. So go back to pages folder, create a new file and name it error.js and again just copy that from our home component and in our error.js component, we're going to just say, sorry, this page doesn't exist or something like that and export error. So let's go back to our app.js file again. And here at the bottom in our routes, first I'm going to import error here. And then at the bottom in our routes wrapper, I'm going to add our error. And so, so what do you put in path for any wrong page? you just want to use the star character. And basically what that means is if you have a star here and that 
page does not exist in our current routes, it's just going to go to that page. So here, sorry, this page is not available. And now that we have our pages set up in the router, let's create a navigation bar. So I'm going to use the nav element here. And in here, I'm going to import link. So now we can use link. And I'm going to create a, a few links pointing to our existing pages in a router. So it's going to be home, about, and contact. And in order to actually link to those pages, we're going to use the to attribute. And here, slash is going to go to the home again. And it's exactly the same value as the path. So I'm going to copy this to to attribute to here and contact to contact. And now if I run this app in the browser and click on any of those links in the navigation bar, you'll see that I'm actually going to those pages that we created earlier, homepage about and contact. Now clicking on any of these links here is only going to change the content of routes. It's not going to change anything outside. So if I have a footer here, let's say 2023 React router, it's not going to change the router, the, the footer here. It's only going to change the content of those pages inside the routes wrapper. So those are the only dynamic parts of our application right now. Now, in the previous versions of React Router, we used use history hook. In v6, we no longer use that. So we use use navigate hook instead. And I'm going to show you how to use that in this next example. So I'm going to go to my about component and I'm going to add a couple of buttons here. So we're going to add on click events to these buttons and they will go to specific pages. So it's a little different than just clicking on a link using the link component. And I'm going to import use navigate hook from react-router-dom. And so inside this about component, I'm going to create a const navigate equals use navigate react hook. And in the on click event, you want to create a new arrow function. And inside this arrow function, you want to use the navigate variable that we just used. And in this navigate, you want to add the route path. So here it's going to go to home page. I'm going to copy this button to create another one. So here, and this one's going to go to go to contact page. So navigate slash contact. So here I have two buttons now, and every time I click on them, they will go to that specific page. Now in this next example, I'm going to show you how to pass parameters to a URL in the router in our React app. So for this router example, I'm going to use the contact component. But let's go back to our app.js and change contact by adding a parameter to the path URL. That's also going to change the original URL, so it's not going to become available anymore. But basically, you want to use the colon and the name of the parameter you want to pass. So, so you can see it's saying, sorry, this page is not available because we changed that URL. It no longer exists in that form. But here in our contact component, I'm going to import use params hook from React Router DOM. And in the constructor here, I'm going to use a const variable and I'm going to copy this parameter name, which is going to match what we're passing into that URL. And let's say email equals use params. So now we can use this email as a variable that was passed from the URL directly in our components body. So here, let's say I type slash contact slash blah, blah at react.net and that's the variable that that's going to get destructured here from that hook and i understand that this is not the best example because who passes emails into contact page but basically if you have a user bio you can send in a username or a user id and things like that this is really just an example so guys in this tutorial we took a look at how react router v6 works 
we have taken a look at creating a navigation bar, which was pretty basic, but that's how you create it out of links. We also created buttons and went to another page in our router when those buttons were clicked.